Hey everyone, Joy from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, we're going to take a look at our song specific patch designed in the style of the song you see on the screen. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key and at its original tempo. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using Easy Transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of the song specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sound of the patch are the same. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled Song Section. Be sure to check out the full demo video for the song patch to see all the parts and sections in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. This patch has piano, sound beds, basses, pads, strings, and organ all layered into the left hand. From this key to this key. In the upper left hand range here and all the way up, you will also have a piano, just single notes here, all the way up to this key. And then the remainder of the keyboard, you'll have a string lead. You'll start the song with song section control all the way down for intro, down verse, pre-chorus, chorus, interlude, and bridge. Then up halfway for medium verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and bridge. And then all the way up for your refrain, your big chorus, your bridge, and your instrumental. For the intro, you'll be playing low octaves bass notes, and then you'll be playing a piano lead in your right hand. So here's what this lead will look like, and you're just gonna be playing some chords for the intro. So these notes are the same for both of the chords in the intro. And so the notes are actually going to be five, six, and two in your key. So here this is with left hand. For your down verse, you'll be playing low octave bass notes in your left hand, and then in your right hand you'll be playing some chords and then some melodic lines that are mostly matching the vocals. So first I'll go ahead and show you the right hand for the first half of the verse. You're going to be playing some chords mostly, and it's the same chords as the intro, so you'll find that it's the 5, 6, and 2 of your key. So here it is with left hand, so it makes a little more sense. For the second half of this verse, it changes a little bit. So now right hand on the one chord is going to do this. So here it is with left hand. Okay, so here's the whole thing put together.
For the medium verse, you'll move song section control from all the way down to halfway up. And you'll be playing it the same way that you did for the first half of the down verse. So this verse is half as long, and you'll just do it with those chunky chords. So it'll sound like this. And then finally, there's a down verse at the end of the song. For this, I like to keep it really simple. So you'll have song section control all the way down. And for the first chord, you'll just hold the left hand and then you'll play one chord for the second chord of this verse. So again, half in length, just like the medium verse. So here's what this will be. For the down pre-chorus, you'll have song section control all the way down. And for the first one at the beginning of the song, I like to start with playing just simple chords, and then it has a little melodic line. So here's what this looks like. Here that is again. And then here's the second half. So here it is with left hand. Left hand will be playing just low octave single bass notes down here. Here's that final little riff slowed down a little bit. For your medium pre-chorus, you'll bring song section control up halfway. You'll still be playing low octave bass notes, and this time I just like to play the chords and then the little melodic line. So pretty much the same as the down pre-chorus. So here's both hands together. The only other thing that changes here is there is a tag just at the end, but otherwise I just play the chords, just doing a pulse, playing twice as many, just to add a little momentum and playing that lead line there, just like before. Okay, then there is one more down pre-chorus at the very end of the song. For this, you'll have song section control again at zero, but this time I bring right hand up the octave and I also play the vocal line as the melody. So here is what the right hand looks like for that. On the recording, they slow down that last line, so you'll just want to make sure that you play along with however your lead vocalist is singing the song, so that they line up and match and sound really pretty together. Okay, so here is both hands together for this part.
So at the very end of the pre-chorus, you'll hear them play a nice series of notes on the piano. And unfortunately, if you are playing with just a 61 key keyboard, you actually don't have enough notes to play in quite the same way. But I would recommend just using notes like the one, four, five, or maybe adding in the two. For your down chorus, you'll be playing some low octave single notes down here, and then right hand will be playing some single notes in the chord and some melodies and a little bit of a lead line. Okay, so here's what right hand will do. So now I'm gonna put them together so that you can hear it in context a bit. For the medium chorus, you'll bring song section control up halfway. And this time you'll be playing with right hand in the same spot up high, but I like to copy the vocal line for this and playing some chords. So here's how I like to do this part. So I like to add in some of those little melodic lines from earlier. Again, feel free to play it however you'd like. You've got the piano all the way up until this key right here. So here's how I like to do this. One more time, hands together. For the big chorus, you'll have song section control all the way up and you'll be playing low octave bass notes and you'll be doing the same thing with your right hand. So I like to basically play it the same as the medium chorus, just with those chords and copying the vocal line and matching that. So here's how that sounds hands together.
for the refrain, you'll have song section control all the way up. You'll be playing octaves in the left hand, and then you will be playing a string lead in the right. So you have the string lead layered from this note all the way up to here. And it's just going to stand out on top with all the other strings that are being triggered from left hand. So here's what this sounds like. You'll just want to be careful when you play the strings because they are not being sustained by the pedal, so you'll need to play them nice and legato. For your interlude that comes right before the bridge, you'll have song section control all the way down. You'll actually be playing some high octave left hand notes here, and then you'll be playing a melody in the right hand. So first I'll show you both hands together at speed, and then I will slow it down. Okay, so here's right hand. And then here is left hand. Here's both hands together, slow. Okay, so here's hands together at speed one more time. Okay, so now that you're moving into the bridge, you'll mostly be playing right hand that same way. So the first time through the bridge, I like to continue playing exactly that way, but towards the end of the first time through the down bridge, the progression changes a little bit and goes one and then five, and it changes a bit, and then you'll be moving song section control up to halfway at that point. So let me go ahead and show you the first two times through the bridge and how that will go. So the only thing that really changes in, is instead of playing at the beginning of each one, when you begin with each of the bridges, you'll just start with the chord. And then as you end it, you can still end with So here's an example of going from the second time through the bridge, the third time through the bridge. So 
So you can see that because we end on the five chord and do this little line, then we come right in with this chord. That again. So instead, over the five, I'm doing. So one more time with that. So you'll do the second, third, and fourth time through the bridge in the exact same way with song section control at halfway up and just playing those same chords in that way, in that melody. Okay, then you'll come back for a big bridge after your big chorus. And for this, I like to move my hand up here and play with the string lead. Of course, if you wanted to, you could continue to just play the piano over here, but the string lead is kind of nice. And for this bridge, the chords are going to change a bit. So here's what that looks like. And then you'll have an instrumental that comes out of this bridge and it's going to be the same chord progression as this big bridge and you'll play the parts exactly the same. You'll just want to be careful because the fourth time through it does move to the five for four beats before moving into the down verse. So here's just a couple times through that big instrumental. Song-specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for Mainstage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys, and all our song-specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for Mainstage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out the song-specific patch. I'm Joy with Sunday Sounds. We'll see you next time.